Hey guys, we are making rava idli today. This is a quick idli to make when you run out of rice batter. Here I have 1 cup of rava that is cream of wheat, 1 cup of thick yogurt, 1 tablespoon of minced ginger, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a pinch of turmeric powder, a few curry leaves, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, oil and salt as needed. I'm going to add some grated carrots and cashews. Now this is optional and you can substitute the carrots with peas. First, we need to heat up a tablespoon of oil and add mustard seeds and cumin seeds into it and allow the, the mustard seeds to pop. Now add the ginger. And fry for a few seconds. Add the curry leaves now and fry them for a few more seconds. I'm going to add the cream of wheat and roast it until you get a nice aroma. Keep roasting this on low heat. You can also add chopped green chilies in this, but today I haven't added any. Our rava mixture has roasted well, so I'm transferring it to another container. Let this mixture cool for a few minutes, then add the yogurt. And mix well. Now I let this batter rest for half an hour. It's very important guys, this batter should rest for at least half an hour. Our batter has been resting for half an hour. I'm going to add some salt and enough water to bring this to idli batter consistency. Now this is the consistency we need. I'm going to add the carrots and cashews, the turmeric powder and the baking soda and give all this a good mix. I've already greased the idli mold, so now I'm going to fill it with the batter. I have placed the mold in the pan and I am going to cover it and cook for 9 minutes. Here you go guys, our rava idlis are done. Serve them with a chutney of your choice. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching.